ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video for Wednesday, August the 6th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters with you, and thanks for tuning in. Let's get to some sky cams this morning. Here's a kind of a bridge shot I like up at Decatur. I uh, can't see the sky too well, but generally uh, a few clouds up there. We can see a few clouds as the sun's rising from Mount Chiha, one of my favorite locations and a spot I plan to be by later today. And then the river uh, down at uh, Selma is calm this morning. Actually, you've got to be careful. That almost looks like Demopolis, but uh, there's a, a little plant missing over there. We're uh, seeing a front that's just to our north, and that front it's going to keep things a bit unsettled just to our north, but it may help to unsettle things around here on Thursday and Friday as it sags into the southeastern U.S. At 500 millibars, you can see the ridge to our west is uh, being undercut by the remnants of Edouard, and that ridge will be uh, with us at least today and then begin to shrink back to the west. Hot over the eastern, well, hot over almost all the country. I, I noticed even the temperatures this morning up in the, the uh, Pacific Northwest, rather warm. Across uh, central Alabama, we're in the lower 70s for the most part, so uh, not too bad. Uh, about typical for this time of year, and that's, uh, that's good. Tropics are fairly quiet. Of course, we're still watching the remnants of Edward move across Texas and give them some uh, pretty good rains I saw on the order of uh, four to six inch amounts and of course a uh, good deal of cloudiness coming off the African coast once again but uh, no signs of anything according to the Hurricane Center and there's their tropical cyclone activity map. Uh, we're not going to see a lot of rain with this uh, next system over the next five days. Looks like the focus of rain according to the HPC guys is going to be over uh, the uh, Ohio River Valley However, I think they may be underdoing it just a little bit. I think we might see a little bit more than a quarter of an inch down here, especially on Friday. Here's uh, the Storm Prediction Center's uh, day one outlook, uh, kind of nudging the slight risk down pretty close. The problem is we've got such good heat that uh, any storms that develop could be very strong. By day two, and that is uh, Thursday into early Friday, uh, it sags a little further south, which is good, giving us a little better chance. And then uh, they only mention areas in the uh, off the southeast Atlantic coast and back into west uh, north north central United States. Here's the 06Z GFS model run, and uh, we're watching the development of a trough on the eastern part of the country. And you can see uh, the vorticity centers over the western Great Lakes and that's going to help to dig that trough and deepen that trough over the eastern half of the country. And that's going to be really good for us because it's going to put us in a northwesterly flow pattern and that will push that front down this way. Front's not going to come down for at least a day or so because of the, it's parallel to the flow but as that flow becomes more northwesterly it'll help to get that front moving and bring it down into the area. The trough continues to deepen and you can see a nice uh, little short wave moving through the Chicago area and the southern Great Lakes and that again will help get that front down in our, our area. I think our best chances for rain are going to come uh, late Thursday and into Friday and uh, we may see the showers linger a little bit on Friday and that's good. The front is uh, forecast to go ahead and push on down to the Gulf Coast and actually down into the northern Gulf um, going to have to see exactly how strong that upper trough is because here is uh, Sunday and, and the GFS suggesting that it's going to get all the way down uh, into the northern Gulf and that's good because uh, that puts us in some drier air may, means the weekend could be very seasonable which will seem cool with temperatures uh, in, only uh, around 90 or so and look at those thickness values 570 we haven't seen that in, uh, in many days by Monday the 500 millibar pattern uh, is shifting a bit as the trough kind of inches off the east coast and as it does we're seeing little ripples in the flow and those ripples may represent uh, additional disturbances that could produce some MCS's or MCC's and uh, that is going to be a concern. Now this uh, particular run of the GFS is suggesting one in uh, northeastern Arkansas. Uh, you know we're gonna have to watch those and make sure uh, that we don't see something up over Kansas City that ends up coming our way in, in uh, you know 8 to 12 hours. By Tuesday, uh, the, the flow is beginning to weaken just a little bit. Uh, still northwesterly, but not quite as strong. And there's still little ripples in there. 
and uh, that northwesterly flow certainly becomes a lot strong, a lot weaker, uh, as we see a new trough, uh, a new short wave coming across to central Canada that could be influencing us uh, in uh, more than a week. And uh, with all of those changes, the front may actually migrate back to the north, and if it does, we'll be in the zone for some activity. And that's okay, because we can certainly use the rain. Now, out in voodoo country, uh, once again, this is Thursday, August 14th, we see the development of that uh, trough once again, and some disturbances in there, which uh, that could help us. Uh, with some rain bringing uh, or bringing a front actually through the central U.S. and then by the 18th we still see that troughiness and uh, by the 21st of course that's changed but we're developing a new trough. So the good news is looks like there's no uh, heat or excessive heat at least uh, within the long-range forecast. We appreciate you tuning in. James should be back with the next Weather Extreme video tomorrow morning. Uh, I've enjoyed being with you. I should be back with my next one uh, over the weekend. Hope that you all have a great Wednesday, and God bless.